Members of the Cape Town Chinese community braving the early morning cold, all for a good cause. They travelled to the rural town of Malmesbury outside Cape Town to make a huge donation to a home for the physically and mentally challenged. The Joe Dolphin Association for Persons with Disabilities recently opened its doors, although it was built by the local municipality and private donors it had no furniture at all. That's until the Chinese community stepped up and decided to lend a helping hand. They donated beds, blankets, desks and even pots and pans to help furnish the new home. A generous gift which had many close to tears. I can't really express the thanks uh, for this organization who donate this because this means such a lot. Um, we really appreciate it because the kids, the people, most of the people, they very poor people, they vulnerable people. I can't tell you how we appreciate this donation from the Chinese government and the Chinese people. You don't understand how um, we must count our pennies for every last thing. And this is a big hole out of our budget that we don't have to worry about. The Sung Ching Ling Foundation says the Chinese community loves living and doing business in the country. And that's why they are so determined to give back to South African society, not only in the form of trade and cultural relations, but also doing as much as they can for charity. The home accommodates children with different kinds of disabilities, including many suffering from fetal alcohol syndrome. Between South African people and the Chinese people, uh, one very big similarity is that uh, both our people uh, take care and uh, show our love toward the weak, toward the poor and the disabled people. We think by helping each other, then we can uh, m make our respective countries more beautiful and a life happier for our own people. An act of goodwill celebrated by kids, parents and caregivers, showing their appreciation for the much needed furniture which has now turned their new building into a real home. Renadal Calm, CCTV, Cape Town.